Hey, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video, uploaded anything to YouTube, but I've got a new camera, wanna get back into it. So today I'm gonna to start with a quick review on the Savage Gear Squad casting and spinning rods. Now, if you've watched my previous videos or been around my Instagram for a while, you know that for a while I was using exclusively favorite. Unfortunately, that relationship fell apart. Now I'm with Savage Gear uh, and using their stuff. Uh, so like I said, with that, I just wanted to do a quick review on the squad rods. I've got four here that I've been using for a while now. Uh, the first two are a 7.3 medium heavy and a 7.4 heavy. I was using those first and really liked them, so I decided to want to pick up a couple more. So I'm going to go over all those real quick and kind of what I use them for and just, I guess, my thoughts overall at the end. Uh, for one of the first rods that I got was this one here. This is a 7 foot 4 heavy. Now, like you see here, I got it tied on with a frog and some braid and a, uh, and a fast reel. Uh, but I use this also for kind of a flipping rig. Uh, I don't have a lot of real thick heavy stuff that I need like a 7.11 extra heavy or anything like that. So a 7.4 to a 7.6 heavy usually does me pretty good too. And for that, I'll throw, again, a high speed reel, 20 pound fluorocarbon and anywhere from quarter to three eighths ounce tungsten with um, a flipping hook and, and that's my thing. But again, a really good, rod here i really enjoy the quality uh, of these rods i was really impressed the other thing too right out of the box is how light they are um, one thing i did notice though that's a little bit different with this rod compared to the other casting rods is the real seat i don't know how let's see zoom in there you see how that contoured and exposed real seat exposing that real blank um, I really like that. Unfortunately, they're not on the other casting rods. And this one here is a 7.1 medium fast. This is their top water rod. And you can see there, the real seat is just a little bit different. It's got like uh, a solid foam piece that kind of goes over that rod blank right there. There's still some exposed blank here, but it doesn't have that, uh, that contoured real seat like the heavy does. Um, so again, this one is their 7.1 medium top water rod. Right now I got it uh, spooled with 30 pound braid. I'm throwing a buzz bait, but it's great for poppers, walking baits, um, some of the smaller size whopper ploppers or the, the smash tails, the Savage Gear smash tail. Um, I was throwing this buzz bait yesterday and I got two on it um, and the rod does great. I like that the, the tip on this rod is we'll see if we can show it extremely fast a nice light tip that's extremely fast and even with this buzz bait would what, what it allows me to do is load up well to make longer casts but again with that buzz bait being a reaction style bait it allows me to or rather allows the fish to come up, hit that bait and take it under before they feel the hook and gives you gives that time, especially throwing braid, for that fish to actually get that bait in its mouth. Now here's the other one that I, that I started out with. This is the 7.3 medium heavy, extra fast. Right now I've got a Thunder Cricket um, chatter bait on here with a 7.1 to one gear reel and 20 pound floral. Again, you can see that reel seat it's got that foam down here with that tiny little bit, bit of exposed, a little bit different than that, that heavy. But again, this one and the heavy were the first two rods that I got and incredibly light. I, I can't stress that enough. Coming out of the box, picking them up, putting a reel on them, and they still are very, very light. Matter of fact, I let a buddy of mine use my rods the other day at the pond just to see what he thought get his thoughts and, and see if he liked them and that was the first thing he said too is oh my goodness these things are incredibly light i got a 7-1 medium spinning rod i've got a 2500 series uh, dial reel on here 20 pound uh, 20 pound braids excuse me to an eight and depending on what i'm doing uh, right now I'm throwing a weightless worm, 
So I'm using eight pound fluorocarbon leader drop shots. So I'll use eight pound fluorocarbon, um, eight to 10. Um, and then depend if I'm stepping up what I'm doing, I'll step up my fluorocarbon as well. I'm telling you what, this rod right here is an extremely versatile rod. Like I said right now, throwing this weightless worm on here, I was throwing a, a drop shot as well on it today, caught a fish on that drop shot. Um, I was throwing this wacky rig yesterday and I was smoking all kinds of fish on that. But the day that this thing came in the mail, I put a, a different reel on here, a 3000 size reel, just a little bit bigger. Still 20 pound braid, but then I put on a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader and went to a saltwater creek next to my house and I was catching speckled trout and reds. And I caught an over slot red. Now for me in South Carolina, slot is 15 to 23 inches. So for me to catch an over slot red, uh, meaning use probably 24, 25 inches, that fish was seven, eight, pounds somewhere in that range and was just absolutely taking me everywhere but this rod did just fine absolutely handled that fish i didn't feel like i was being overpowered by that fish yeah it was pulling drag but i've got some some other rods some heavier spinning rods that i use for reds as well and it does the same, they do the same thing with with me on those so i didn't feel like i was underpowered being a medium power rod throwing or rather catching those big reds and then turning around and putting a, a slightly smaller size reel on here with a lighter leader and going ultra finesse with a weightless worm or a drop shot and it was able to to do all of those tasks and do them well um, I, like I said I was out here fishing a drop shot this morning and the fish that I caught on the drop shot I, a little bit of a breeze going so was the the breeze was putting a bow in that that braided braided line i could still feel that that tungsten dragging across the bottom and i still felt that very subtle very light bite of that fish um, and was able to get that fish in so again i am extremely impressed with all of these rods by savage gear um, and I'm not saying it just because I'm working with them. I really am impressed. I really do like these rods But I, I'm telling you what guys if you're in the market for a new rod and you're on a budget Meaning you're trying to spend less than a hundred dollar hundred dollars on a rod Check out these rods by Savage Gear $89.99 on Tackle Warehouse and I promise you you're not gonna be disappointed You, you guys I appreciate you watching this video I appreciate you uh, coming to my channel to check out this video. If you would and you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It lets me know you enjoyed this video. It lets me know you want to see more content like this in the future. I promise you I, I plan on doing more videos. I'm going to try and make Sunday mornings my, my recording days and my editing days. That way I can start put, uh, putting videos out on a more regular basis. Again, I appreciate you watching this video. Check out these rods and I'll see you guys on the next one.